Yo, what is up guys, Phyllis here, and today I got another video for you guys, and damn, yo, I said I was going to do this tutorial in for so long, and I'm, f it's, I'm finally doing it, finally I have some time to actually do it, I'm like, you know, really excited, because I haven't created a video in so long, but this is a video about how you could open up your NetApp, I did a video about this before, but I'm going to actually show you guys how to port forward it, so it's like, it's like a more of a permanent fix then you know short time because the other one I did you could go check it out it's if you don't want to do all this work because I'm gonna switch over to my PC as well and show you guys step by step how to port forward it so yeah if you don't want to like take that long you just want a quick fix I have another video I'll link it down in the description and it's on how to actually open up your net type and yeah so first what I'll need you guys to do is um let me just quit this and show you guys step by step so yeah first go to go to your um, menu right here you just pr you just press your left uh, left stick. You just press it to the left side. Go down to um, settings, all settings. Wait for this to load for a little bit, and then go down to networks. After you go down to networks, go to network settings. And then over here you can see wired, and you'll see my you don't see my PV4, and you see my NetApp. It's open already because I already did it. But I'll show you guys how to do it again. What you but first what you guys want to do is go to advanced settings. And your IP settings, make it man. Don't make it manual. Just make it automatic. I know some people tell you to make it manual. I don't know why, but make it automatic for now. After you do that, your alternate MAC address. If you could clear it, but it's gonna tell you to reset. Um, I recommend you doing it, but I don't wanna do it right now for the sake of this uh, tutorial. So you guys could reset it. Just do it. After you're done with that, um, this is all the things. And I need you to do one more thing. You're, this is good. After you do this, you test your um, network connection. You test your uh, multiplayer connection, not the network connection, multiplayer connection. So you do that. Let this go through for a while. And so, I, uh, after this is done, there's you could see the stats of what your actual connection is. It's going to take you to the screen, but if you press left trigger, right trigger, left bumper, right bumper at the same time, it will actually show you results. So I'll press that when this uh, is done. Alright guys, so this just finished. It took like, what, 30, 30 seconds, not even. So now what you're going to do is press left trigger, right trigger, left bumper, right bumper at the same time. So do that. So after you do that, you'll see your download speed, upload speed, all this, your latency, your net type, everything. So my download speed is 79.53. Mine is actually 200. I don't know why. I have optim optimum. It's 200 up download speed, but I don't know why it's showing. And upload speed is like 35. Yeah, I know. I don't know what's it, what's about optimum. I have 200, but download but upload I have like 34 I don't know why but alright after you're done with this you could just um, turn your Xbox off it doesn't matter so now we're gonna switch it back to we're not back to we're gonna switch to our computers and yeah turn on your computers and I'll show you step by step from there yo guys so I'm back right now and I'm on my computer right now you guys have to switch your computer as well I'm pretty sure by now you're in your computer you probably just pause the video and turn on your computer uh, just like from the beginning i'm just telling you guys this is not going to take like two hours to do this is going to take like five minutes max well not max but like if you follow through what i'm doing actually it's going to take you like five minutes not that long um but to do this you'll have to know your router login your username and password for your router not the wi-fi login your router login if you don't know that then ask your parents or something but yeah i'll show you guys how to get to your router settings right now you gotta have access to your router settings and for that you'll need your router login sometimes like if your parents never set it up your password and username and password will be username and then password will be zero 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 like that or one 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 try that and if that doesn't work just give your provider a call and that's it all right so first you'll need to access your router settings how you do that is you have to go to command prompt so press the windows button right there and then uh for go to search and type in cmd which is command prompt after you type that in you need to uh, put this com uh, command it's called ipconfig and press enter after you type that in so this is you'll see some random stuff here if you don't know what this is i know this will look like gibberish or something to you but um it you'll actually see a lot of stuff like ethernet adapter which is i'm using right now i'm not using wi-fi if you use wi-fi there'll be a different selection where it says wi-fi for you but um you'll see ethernet connection and what you need to do is look for the default getaway my default getaway is right here so 
you'll press you'll click on that and um just highlight it like this just go over left click and highlight over and press enter which will that will do is copy and after you copy that you see it copied down i just left click and copy to there but yeah I, um after you do that go to your browser any browser i'm gonna use mozilla firefox just for the sake of it i use google chrome as well but i'm gonna use mozilla firefox right now and one more thing before i continue if you have background noise don't mind it there's people in my house and stuff so yeah don't mind it all right so you paste your default get right here i copied it and i pasted it and then press enter after after you press enter this is where you will need your um login your router settings login not your wi-fi login again your router settings login so i'll do that right now this popped up for me put in your password log in to optimum all right guys so after you logged in to your router settings and if you can't log in and your parents doesn't know the router settings password or username just call up your internet provider sometimes they actually block it you just call them up and tell them to unblock it and do it do it right away so yeah after you get in here you'll look for port forwarding settings or port management settings what you do is you go there it, will, it has to do something with port and you'll find it so i already had it preferred but i removed it for the sake of this video so yeah um there's for my actually for my provider they already have like a preset for xbox one but i'll show that after um i do this step by step because not many provider has that so i'll show you guys how to actually do a step by step you'll need to make at least i think five or six ports so i'll show you guys that right now so what you have to do is pa press um select add port forwarding rule and after that service user defined service it doesn't really matter just have that you don't need to put anything and service name i'll name this xbox one xbox one 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 all right i named that and the first one these are the ports so the first one is tcp 53 to 53 so copy that i'll leave i'll copy and paste this in the description so don't worry i'll put this in the description below so yeah tcp port is 55 through 53 this has to be same as incoming port so make that same as incoming port and um just uh select the host your host has to be a router so that's my router i selected my router and save changes for that wait no never mind um this actually it's just 53 to 50, that's it 53 and uh port uh, forward to port is has to be same as incoming port so save changes on that it's saving all right, so you've done that, and now add another uh, port, which is add another port forwarding rule, and same thing, service name Xbox One, and, and I'll name this too. I'll just copy this, so I don't have to do it all over again. This time, it has to be a UDP, and the port is 3544. So do this, UDP port 3544, same as incoming port, and the host has to be your router, so save that you do that for all these guys all of them you have you have to do it for all of them or else this won't work so after you've done that just save everything and you're done basically just uh, after that just close everything you could restart your xbox one and then you should be good do the test multiple connection again but now i'm gonna actually show you guys this this is my method how this works for me my provider already has the preset for the xbox one so if you have optimum all you need to do is just add port forwarding rule and over here it says services go all the way down try to find xbox one so over here it says xbox one xbox 360 all of that live xbox live click on xbox one and this already has the presets for you so all you need to do now is select the host which is a router select that and save changes and you're done and then basically after that just do whatever i said restart everything restart your router if you want to like it, this will be better for you if you do and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed um i know this took a while for me to make i promised a lot of guys like a lot of people that i will do it and some of my friends too so yeah after you're done you could log out anything and so go back and yeah thank you for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed please leave some feedback and i I will, i'm not gonna promise but i'll try to be consistent with these uploads and yeah please show support like comment and subscribe and yeah peace stay fearless